Hey guys, Hockeyman91 here with another tech review on the iPhone 4, this time whether or not it's useful in 2015. The iPhone 4 at the moment uh, is hovering around 100 bucks on like eBay. If you're going to get it either new or refurbished or whatever, uh, you can get it for less, obviously. Um, but around 100 bucks, 80 bucks, that's kind of what you're going to expect for a 16 gigabyte model. Design is still pretty nice. I'll probably uh, put in some video from last year here. The iPhone 4 contains an A4 processor. Uh, compared to iPhone 4S with an A5 processor. It can only run iOS 7. It cannot run iOS 8, which is a huge, major thing if you're interested in buying the iPhone 4. The iPhone 4 screen is 3.5 inches. Compared to the 4S, which is the same, the 5, uh, 5C, and 5S, which are all 4 inches. And then the iPhone 6, which is... 4.7 inches and the iPhone 6 Plus which is 5.5 inches. So as I've said before this will only go to iOS 7 which is a major point for a lot of apps or as a lot of apps uh, will only go you need iOS 8 for. Now that's not a huge deal yet but with it, uh, within the year when iOS 9 comes out a couple things iOS 7 will kind of uh, become obsolete very quickly. The iPhone 4 does not have Siri compared to the 4S and well everything above the 4S all have Siri. The iPhone 4 was originally made in 2010. It has an HD camera at 5 megapixels. Is it obsolete? Is it usable? Is it like what's the deal with this thing? And I'm going to say my verdict is it's not really usable for anyone who plans to do a lot with their phone. Um, I really hate to say it, I love the iPhone 4, it's a very good device, but it is just unfortunately uh, true. I have moved on from the iPhone 4, and now that I booted this thing up again and looked at it, it's like a lot slower compared to what I'm using now, which is an iPhone 5C. Gaming can be very laggy, especially in 3D environments, 3D games. And internet speeds can be quite um, horrible at times, but will still run. It really depends on your internet connection. As I said last year, for a kid's like, starter phone, this is great. You know, If you're just getting used to the feel of an iPhone, the iPhone 4 can be great for that. The iOS 7 runs fairly smooth on it now. Battery life on here, it really it de kind of depends on the phone and on the life of the battery. You know, in the old days when it was like iOS 5, the battery would have lasted a really long time, but now it does not um, nearly last as long, especially if you've used the iPhone 4 for a couple years, a few years, whatever. You're going to probably need to charge it, you know, I would think once to twice a day if you're using it for like heavy use gaming or whatever. If you're just using it to check your emails, text, call someone. It'll probably last you the day, but it's something you're going to want to charge regularly for sure. All right, guys, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like button. Thanks for watching again, and see you next time.